हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द मार्केटिंग सेशन ऑफ सेल्स एंड रिटेल मैनेजमेंट के एम बी एम के जीरो वन इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सेल्स मैनशिप एंड सेल्स मैनेजर दीज आर द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ टूडेज लेक्चर डेफिनेशन ऑफ सेल्स मैनशिप फीचर्स ऑफ सेल्स मैनशिप क्वालिटेटिव ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ सेल्स मैनशिप क्वान्टिटेटिव ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ सेल्स मैनशिप सेल्स मैनेजर एंड इट्स की रोल now what actually the sales manager is and what actually the sales manship is sales manship according to the national association of marketing teachers of america sales manship is the ability to persuade people to buy goods or services at a profit to the seller and with benefit to the buyer now what you have to do being a sales manager that you need to persuade the customer you need to motivate the customer you need to educate the customer so that they can buy your product and your organization can buy profit from the customer as per the peterson and right salesmanship is the process whereby the seller ascertains and activates the needs and wants of the buyer and satisfy these needs and wants to the mutual continuous advantage to the buyer and the seller so what you need to understand that you have to identify needs and wants of the customer once you are able to understand what actually the customer is trying to get from you then you can easily sell out the customer now before going to the market what you have to do you have to understand the customer psychology and if you better understand the customer psychology then you can easily sell out the product to the customer now how you can understand the customer psychology while interacting with the customer while involving in the personal communication while involving in the face to face communication you can easily identify what actually customer is trying to get from your pocket so sales manager have lots of responsibility on his shoulder or you may say it is the biggest responsibility of the company which sales manager or salesman is shouldering because what they are doing they are increasing the revenues of the company so that company can get smooth functioning in the market now the features of the salesmanship the first feature of the salesmanship is personal selling and its oldest forms of selling it is the oldest forms of selling now here what you are doing that you are involving the personal communication with the buyer you are trying to motivate buyer so that you can easily sell out product to the customer uh, look at the 100 years or 200 years or 1000 year 1000 years back at that time the small ferry wala used to go door to door and they just try to motivate customer to to buy their product now in today's scenario the things has already been changed earlier they used to have one one small portly in 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 their shoulder and and from there they they can show product to the customer but nowadays what you have you have laptop you have mobile phone you have other electronic gadgets so that you can easily demonstrate product to the customer so what is your responsibility that you have to motivate customer to buy your product second it is the most important form of promotional mix see if you are talking about the if you are talking about the marketing in marketing there are the five things which are very important first one is the advertisement second one is the sales promotion third one is the personal selling fourth one is the public relation and fifth one is the publicity so when you are talking about the promotion promotion is the one of the p's of four p's in the market if you are talking about the four p's in the market that is product price promotion and place so when you are talking about the promotional mix means you are using advertisement advertisement you are using uh, uh, various forms of the advertisement you are using various medium of the advertisement so that you can easily sell out product to the customer before going to the customer's door step what you have to do that you have to advertise your product before uh, going to the customer so that you can easily sell out product to the customer then third it is the uh, sec, uh, then third it is the art of selling a product or services 
see it is all about the art why it is an art because when you are going to the customer's doorstep at the time you have to identify what customer actually want from you if you are able to identify customer needs and wants then then only you will be able to uh, sell your product to the customer but if you are not able to identify customer needs and wants then it would be a herculean task for you that how you would sell product to the customer so you have to sell your product to the customer by providing the best services to the customer if the services are not good then customer will not buy your product or customer will not avail your services it involves direct and personal contact with the buyer so what you are doing that you are directly reaching to the buyer you are personally involving with the interaction with the buyer and you are trying to motivate buyer to buy your product there is a one huge advantage when you are directly talking to a customer what is that advantage the advantage is that when you are having face to face interaction with the customer they can they, at the time you can have eye contact with the customer and once you are having the eye contact with the customer you can easily read out what's going on inside their mind if something is fishy in customer's mind then what you have to do that you have to identify that thing and you have to satisfy then and there to the customer if objection will remain in the customer's mind then customer will not buy your product so what you have to do that you have to properly handle the objections so that you can easily sell out product to the customer it is a creative art why it is a creative art because when you are involving in the personal selling at that time what you are doing that you are just talking to the customer you are showing your laptop you are showing your folders you are showing your mobile phone you are showing the ppts you are showing you are showing uh, demonstrate you are demonstrating your product physically to the customer so customer is just uh, looking at your product and uh, there are so many questions would be in the mind of the customer so what you have to do that you have to uh, you have to identify that what are those questions and once you have identified the questions of the customer so you should be ready with the answers of those questions what when where how who if these are the questions is answered by you properly then you can easily sell out product to the customer then to be very effective salespeople also has carried on continuously to perpetuate the demand created once so once you have created the demand what you do that you have to continuously create the demand you are not making customer for one time that you should keep in your mind that you are making customer for life long so demand should continuously there in the mind of the customer now what is your responsibility being a sales manager what is your responsibility being a salesman shape that you have to convert this customer into a profitable customer if you are able to convert this customer into a profitable customer then you can get more profit from the customer now look at the example suppose if you are dealing a banking products and you went to the customer for selling the credit card you sold a credit card to the customer while talking to the customer you identify that customer want more things from you and he is also interested in home loan he is also interested in vehicle loan so there are the two products which you can sell out to the customer so what you can do that you will try to convince the customer that our company is the best company and you can also avail other features you can also avail of other services and the product so this way you can convert this one normal customer to a huge profitable customer and this way you can get more profit from the customer's pocket salesmanship basically aims at selling a product there is nothing uh, important to sell a product to the customer so what you have to do that you have to sell product to the customer 
and it is your primarily objective it is your basic objective that how you would sell product to the customer and always keep this thing in your mind that if you are going to the customer's doorstep or customer is coming to your shop or customer is coming at your premises then you should keep this thing in mind that customer should buy this product anyhow but don't forget that you should be ethical enough you should not forget your values you should not forget company's values and while binding or such thing you can easily sell out product to the customer so this is how you can sell this is how you can sell product to the customer being a salesman or being a sales manager it is an educative process when you are talking about the educative process means that you are giving information when you are talking about the education means you are giving information to the customer you are making aware about you are making aware customer about all such things suppose if you are selling a water purifier to the customer then first step that you will reach to the customer door step then after that you will take the sample of the water from the customer house you will go for the experiment and testing of the water you will identify that whether water is polluted or not now you will also tell meanwhile you will also tell to the customer that uh, what is the polluted water how you can say that this water is a polluted water hai na so what you need to understand that uh, you have to tell all the chemical compositions of the waters all the minerals of the waters all all adulterated things which has already added into the waters because of uh, the pollutions you can also make aware to the customer about all such things so it is a educative process one more example suppose if the customer is going to the market for buying a mobile phone then you will have to tell to the customer that how this mobile phone will work what is the screen size what is the processor what is the company and how uh, you can work on this mobile phone how this mobile phone will be more efficient for you so this is how it is a educative process then the objective of the salesmanship to create demand for a new product the basic objective of salesmanship is to create a demand of a new product if you have a new product in your hand to so first of all what you have to do that you have to create demand in the mind of the customer once the demand is there in the mind of the customer then customer will definitely buy your product suppose if there is a product like nicel powder now nicel powder which is very well working in the itching and especially in the rainy season or especially in the summer now what you will do that you will just try to motivate customer sir if you are having some itching problem and other thing then you can use the nicel powder on the other way you can also take the example of the juicer mixer and grinder hai na so what you have to do that you have to motivate customer in such a way so that customer will buy your product so generating the demand and creating the demand in the mind of the customer is far most important as far as selling is concerned so when you are selling a product to the customer at that time you should always create demand in the mind of the customer second point that is the to maintain and also expand demand for an existing product so what you have to do that you have to maintain the demand of the existing product if you have already sold out product to the customer your duty is not over actually selling start after selling the product once you sell out product to the customer at that time what you do that you have to convert this customer into the profitable customer now how you can convert this product customer to the profitable customer while while selling some other products and if you are able to sell some other product to the customer then only you will be happiest person in the market so that customer will be converted in as the profitable customer then third one to guide the buyer in the proper selection of the goods 
Now look at the scenario of the shopping mall, look at the scenario of the garment store where you are quite perplexed, you are not able to take decisions that which cloth you should buy. At the time one sales girl come and they just help you, sir this is the best suitable cloth you can buy it. Now what you are doing that you are getting information from that sales girl. So, once you are getting information from that sales girl, then at that time you make your decision firm and finally you buy the product. So, sometime what happen that we see lots of product on the table, on the counter, at that time we are not able to take the decision. So, what you have to do that you have to take decisions, but if somebody is helping you, if somebody is helping you that also can guide you to buy the product. So, guiding is also a important when you are talking the salesmanship, then to build up goodwill and reputation for the seller. Now, this is the important thing you need to understand. Once you are able to maintain the goodwill of the company, you can easily sell out product to the customer. So, what you have to do that you have to maintain the repo, you have to maintain the goodwill so that you can sell out product to the customer. Now, the qualitative or long term objective of salesmanship. So, there are certain qualitative and long term objective to undertake, to undertake to do the entire selling activities. So, what you have to do that you have to do the entire selling activities, you have to do each and everything. What is the each and everything? That first of all, you have to find out the prospect, you have to generate the lead you have to find out the qualified prospect in the market, you will directly involve in the personal selling process, you will be involved in the following up of the customer, you will be involving in the feedback of the customer. It means from generation of a lead to the satisfaction of the customer, it is all your work. Nobody is going to help you out. So, what you have to do that you have to identify customer and before identify the customer you have to create demand in the market by different advertising activity you can give feedback to the company. So, this kind of advertisement will, will create uh, uh, good impact in the customer's mind and customer will definitely buy our product. So, this is how you can uh, do things in the market to serve the existing customer. Now, once you have sold your product to the customer your duty is not over. Because what happens sometime if customer is facing some problem, then you need to understand if the problem is not sorted out by you, then you may lose a one customer. Suppose if I bought a laptop and I have some problem in running the laptop and the laptop salesman is not coming to my house to tell me that how I can resolve the problem. So, next time I will not buy and I will not buy the same company's product. So, that is how you need to understand that how you can motivate customer to buy your product. Then to convert some of the new prospects into the long term customer. As I told you earlier this thing that you have to convert customer into the profitable customer. Once you have sold out one product to the customer, you have to, you have to sell other things to customer you have to sales other products of the companies to the customer. So, you this is your responsibility that you need to identify whether this customer can be converted to a profitable customer or not and if it is coming and if it is converted into a profitable customer then you can sell other products to the customer. Customer has bought laptop from your shop, he may, he may buy a printer from your shop he may buy a computer table from your shop, he may buy web camera from your shop, he may buy a web camera stand from your shop. So, that is you need to understand that you have to convert this customer to the profitable customer. To regularly inform the customer, if new product is there, if some new product is there, then what you have to do that you have to regularly inform to the customer. Now, today is, the, uh, today is the age of the wellness industry, look at the wellness industry. If you are talking about the wellness coach, then they regular, regularly calling to the customer, they just trying to ask them, sir you are taking my product, is there any problem? 
if problem is there then you will try to sort out the problem otherwise what would happen that customer will continue the product and if once he face the problem and you are not giving the proper response then customer may discontinue your product so you need to understand that every time you have to inform customer about the new things every time you have to inform about the things which are very necessary for the customer because customer is not aware about the product that how they can use the product to coordinate with distribution channel members so that is how you have to understand that how you can coordinate with the distribution channel of the customer to collect information from the stakeholders so you have to identify how you can collect information from the distribution channel how you can collect information from your retailer wholesalers and the uh, distributors look at the like pharma industry in pharma industry it will start from the retailer then wholesaler then distributor then cndf if you are a mr medical representative then what you will do that you will get information from all these middlemen and you will give feedback to the company so that is how you can collect information from your stakeholder stakeholders are the persons who are directly or indirectly associated with the company now the quantitative or short term objective of salesmanship so you you have to understand what are the short term objective to obtain orders and execute them to the satisfaction of the customer so you have to get order from the customer and you have to satisfy them so that uh, they would be the most happiest person in the entire world so basically your main objective your primary objective to get order from the customer to meet sales target now this is a very important thing for a sales manager if you have been uh, selected as a sales manager if you have been selected as a salesman or sales executive then you have to achieve targets if you are not achieving the targets then you will be out of the box so don't behave like a new kids in the block you have to work you have to find out customer and you have to achieve sales target given by the company in your sales territory if you are not if you are not achieving the sales target then you will be out of the box and you may be fired any time from the company because company is paying you handsome salary you are well educated you are mba student and you have been selected in a multinational company so what you have to do that you have to achieve your sales target if you are not achieving the sales target then you may be fired any time from the company to maintain present accounts and add new customer so some existing customers are there but what is your responsibility to find out new customer in the market and once you are finding out new customer in the market then only you will be the happiest person otherwise what would happen that customer will will uh, move to the another product customer will move to the another company's product and they will not uh, continue your product so what you have to do that you have to find new product sometime what happen that customer is buying your product and once he get bored from your product then what he will do he will try another product and this is the basic uh, activity of the customer in the market that is the basic psychology of the customer in the market that customer always want new product in the market so you need you try to find out new customer in the market you should not rely more on your existing customer you should try and try to find out new avenues for your product you should try to find out new customer in the market to maintain market share and competitive edge try to get market share as much as possible and try to get competitive advantage from other competitors company if you are getting competitors advantage then it's okay for your company and you will get more customer in the market to achieve sales volume and satisfies company's product mix norms so what you have to do that you have to achieve sales volume you have to achieve uh, you have to maintain the company's product mix norms means you are not selling a one product to the customer you are selling a various product to the customer and this way you can more satisfy to the customer to submit sales report regularly as per the company's policies so what you have to do there is a there is a dsr daily sales report there is a wsr weekly sales report there is a uh, msr monthly sales report there is a qsr quarterly sales report there is a half yearly sales report and there is a asr annual sales report 
है ना एट दी स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द ईयर यू विल गेट दी सेल्स टारगेट नाउ हाउ यू विल गोइंग टू अचीव यू विल बी गोइंग टू अचीव दिस सेल्स टारगेट दैट यू हैव टू मेक ए प्लान एंड यू विल डू इन द मार्केट टू अचीव सर्टन थिंग्स from the customer or you will you will you do things in the market so this is how you will try to get certain things in the market then the sales manager sales manager is the person responsible for the leading and coaching the team of a sales people so he is the person who will mentoring the sales team the sales manager task often include assigning sales territory so you have to give a sales territory to the sales uh, persons setting up quotas you will give quotas to the sales person mentoring and members of her sales team assigning the sales training you will be also involving in the sales training and this way you can maintain your sales in the market building a sales plan and hiring and firing sales people so what you are doing that you are building a sales plan you are hiring the people you are firing the people those who are working good you can hire them those who are not working good you can fire them you can find out new sales uh, uh, teams in the market you can find out new sales manager in the market so this is how you can do in the market a sales manager is to simultaneously plays other role people manager recruit build and nurture a team so you will recruit you will build and you will nurture the team customer manager strategically foster the customer engagement so you will be more involved in the customer uh, policies business manager steer the business so you will look at the business and you will try to develop your business in the market now the typically the characteristic skills and trait of a sales manager include communication skill so communication skill is very important for you what you have to do that that you have to properly communicate the sales uh, customer so that you can uh, motivate customer so that you can sell more product to the customer if you are not communic communicating properly then customer will not buy your product so this is how you are doing in the market this is how you are you are telling to the customer that your product is the best product in the market integrity and the trust so you have to show your integrity you have to show your trust to the customer if you deceive the customer customer will not buy your product always remember this thing that you should be ethically so strong when you are going to the customer you should not telling you should not tell those things which are not fruitful to the customer you should not tell those things which are uh, harmless to the customer if your product is harming to the customer suppose if you are in involving in the wellness industry and you are selling a product to the customer although you are achieving the targets but you cannot achieve target for the sake of the life of the customer the targets can only be achieved when you are selling a good product when you are selling a product by which the customer can be motivated and customer can also bring new customers in your pocket ability uh, ability to build relationship with peers so you have to maintain the relationship as i told you earlier if you are not maintaining the relationship with your peers then you cannot develop trust amongst your peers so what you have to do that you have to tell your peers that uh, together we can win and together we can lose so what you have to do that you have to build relationship with your peers you have to build a strong relationship if you are giving order to a peer the peer should not disobey your order so that is how you have to do that is how you have to do in the market so that you can get new customer in the market empathy and ability to understand the customer putting your feet in the customer shoes is the empathy empathy means that what you are feeling actually if you are using the product once you know that this product is not use or full this product is no good product then how you can sell this product to the customer that is the empathy ability to unite a team so you have to build a team so that that team can sell your product in the market then analytical skill so you have a certain pro certain uh, data in your hand so that you can analyze the data and you can sell this uh, product to the customer ability to prioritize an effective managed team so what you have to do that you have to prioritize the thing you have to manage your team so that your team can sell this product to the customer if you are not selling the things to the customer then then it cannot be uh, achieve your target in the market so you need to understand that how you can achieve the target in the market you need to understand how you can create demand in the mind of the customer and this way you can easily achieve your target in the market so that's all for today's lecture thank you very much